it's time to finish up the texturing of this uh, multi-panel submarine thing and there's only a couple of things that I want to do here now for you I want to put a rectangular area around this master control region here all right so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just down here I'm going to add a paint layer and I'm going to come in and we're going to use just height for this all right I'm going to drop the height down and come over to my alphas and I'm going to type in square and I'm going to grab this square here all right now as I increase the size by holding control and uh, right mouse button it gets thicker you can see the line gets thicker if I was to stamp that down I would have that effect uh, I want to thin that out this way it gets thinner and thinner and then I can choose the size that I like for for that sort of panel like thing just really want an indent now that doesn't look overly realistic yet we need to put some dirt in there and to do that with alphas we're going to use anchor points uh, but I'm going to do that in a moment because there's something else that I want to do as well all right so this is going to be like the master uh, control border I'll call it and now I want to add something else up here right below the dials so I'm going to switch over to orthographic snap it and I'm going to on the same layer I'm going to add a circle let's grab this circle here 0 0.01 increase the size until I get the size that I want there we go so I have an indent all right now let's continue and then we'll put some dirt in there I'm going to add another layer a paint layer and then I'm going to come to my project files and find those bars that I used before and I'm going to pull that in and stamp that down in the middle all right something like that now I'm going to create a black mask right click and add a fill come in and on the gray scale I'm going to come to the procedurals and type hex and I'm going to drag this over to there I'll pull the tile all the way up and the scale I'm going to put to two now we need to darken this up with some dirt all right I've got two layers here I'm gonna call this bars and to do this I'm going to create above here a paint layer and I'm gonna call this pass through anchors or pass through anchor I'm gonna add an anchor point here above the bars and the master control border and I'm going to come to the layer and I'm going to come to the height and I'm going to change this to pass through now connected to this anchor which will affect these layers below it I'm going to scroll up to the dirt click on the dirt I'll go to the properties scroll down to micro details make sure micro height is true and down here select that anchor switch the channel to height and now we have some dirt going in there and we have some dirt on there and that's the effect that I'm going for so the takeaway point is that um, this layer with height on pass through now, I'm only using height because I'm using alphas if I use any of these hard surfaces normals I can change the normal channel here I can switch this back to base color by the way if I was using the normal channel I would select that and put pass through but I'm not I'm only using alphas 
anything that I put down here that is an alpha can inherit that anchor, can use that anchor and get the dirt. All right, so on uh, this layer of, of bars, or actually maybe on this, this layer here, I can come back to my alphas and search for another alpha like bolt. Now I happen to have bought some alphas. You could use any alpha you want, another bolt if you wanted. I thought I would maybe bring this in and I could just stamp another bolt down there and there. And I thought maybe I would come down here and if I had enough room, maybe I would put one here and here. And there's a little bit of dirt going in and there. Let's go back to perspective. Maximize. And this is what we have. Now, I've got the glass and the dials uh, in Blender and the radar screen. So I am prepared to call this finished. All right. So uh, there might be something else that I come back and do on my own, but for the purpose of these, these videos, I'm going to say that the texture is done. So in the next video, I'm going to export these textures and set them up in Blender and get everything to work. And we'll see how the UDIMS on multiple panels experiment has worked. All right, so thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.